middle of the golf club or the neck, right, right here, the grass is going to grab that at impact. And what is going to happen is my fingers of the grass is going to close the club face a little bit. And when it closes that, OK, well, here he is now. It's closed a little bit. The direction of the club face now is left of the target. That's exactly where the ball's going to go. So by opening our stance a little bit, we're going to open the club face at the same time, and we're going to counteract this closing motion created by Mother Nature, the grass. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to play for it. Open our stance a little bit. This is the only time we're going to change our grip pressure. We have to hold on a little bit firmer, because if we hold on too soft, that grass is going to grab the neck even more and just twist the club face. It's unbelievable how much that really does do to the club. It'll just turn it over so fast, and sometimes you won't even get the ball airborne. So we're going to hang on a little bit firmer, not with the right hand, with the left hand. Because our left hand is going to be the one holding onto the club as it enters the, sand, enters the grass. And now we've got to hold on here. Because if we don't, the club face is going to get to here, turn over, just moving your hand like that and then we're no chance. So, go through the routine again. S analyze how much grass you got there. You know you've got a suspect fl flyer. Allow for it. Yardage is going to be different. Your, seven, your five iron, now you can play a seven iron. May, may also realize when the ball hits the ground, no backspin is going to roll a little further. Land the ball a little bit shorter of your target. Play your ball back in your stance a little bit. Widen your stance a little bit. Same swing, the only difference is your descending blow is going to be a little more abrupt, abrupt coming down on it. That is going to try, and that's going to create the knife through butter effect and get, eliminate as much grass as you can to sort of control the flyer. Grip pressure a little tighter in your left hand. Make sure your club face is a little bit open and just go ahead and hit the shot. That's it for part one of Greg Norman, the Complete Golfer. We've taken a look at some of the fundamentals of the long game. In part two, Greg explores the short game. Golf shots played from 75 yards in, including bunker shots, chipping, and putting.